Hi. Today I want to talk to you about indent. So first let's see the page setting. We have a A4 page and we have two centimeters all the margin. So you can see one, two here and one, two and so on. So these are the page margins on two centimeters on every um, margin. But we can increase that. We can uh, move the text uh, in the center of the page with indent. So let's see. Uh, we have here, if we select the text and right click paragraph and again paragraph, look on the right what is changing. So before the text, it's um, the left margin. We can move the text from here, from here, two centimeters to the right. We change uh, before that two centimeters. Now let's uh, make that three. So we have three from the left. Also, let's change three from the right. So we have two here, another two here, another three, and here two and three centimeters. And this is first line uh, of the text. Will be one more a centimeter plus this three plus the first two so let's see okay so let's uh, make a calculation we have two from the page margins another three from uh, indent the indent we want and another one from uh, first line indent okay so we have the text on the middle of the page. I prefer to use styles, so I have here, but let's uh, change with manual uh, changing. So we have here on the right that option to change, and also with right click, as I said earlier, let's change to 1, 1, and 0, 5. So it's much better looking now. So this way we move the text inside a little bit when we need it. From the left, from the right, and also we can change uh, the first line. Let's uh, see another thing here. Let's select this. Let's copy more uh, paragraph in order to see a practical example when we could use uh, this uh, case. So we have a normal page, normal text, like this. Let's copy the format to the last paragraph. So we have some normal text. And in the middle we have something special we want to uh, emphasis we want everybody to see what we have on the middle let's make them zero let's add some space to look much better and you can see when we have a document like this you have something special in the middle of the page you read something here you notice something special um, in the middle of the page and you can continue to read your book so it's very useful sometime to move the text in the middle of the page. You have also here on the right some tools to increase from uh, some distance. Not uh, very professional, but with uh, automatic, some automatic changes here. And this is a switcher. Let's look. We can change first line with the uh, rest of the text. So let's increase to almost two centimeters. And you can see we have two centimeters here at the distance. Uh, first line, it's two before the text. And if I change that, if I change that two centimeters, they are inside, inside the text or outside the text. So they are changing from one to another. It's a very useful tool when uh, you need it. 
now let's uh, eliminate the formatting here and let's apply a style we have a space here and let's uh, you can see all the text here it's style some text and you can change the indent from style so this style let's change some values here let's apply you can see on the left you can see what we are changing let's increase a little bit on this let's increase more we have one centimeter here okay so now uh, I've indented this style so when I make a change here for example I want to change the font or something everything is changing I don't have to select all the paragraph and so on so the same with indent if I want to make these indents to some text it's very useful to use styles in order to make the changes to every paragraph in the document I hope you understood something from this video tutorial with indent and when you need to use it. It's not recommended to use uh, big values. So thanks for watching and please subscribe.